you know, able to go annually out to some of these places and more stuff is washed up. This park bench and this patio furniture were made out of this. To get any plastic from the ocean is a lot of time, energy, cost, equipment and efforts. Richmond-based nonprofit Ocean Legacy Foundation makes the furniture in partnership with an Alberta company. It's made from plastic they recover during ocean, shoreline and marine equipment cleanups. We're literally talking about, at least on our coast, thousands of tons of material that are washing up on the shore annually, but we're only able to get hundreds of tons off because we just have a, a massive coastline to deal with. The group says their products are part of the solution in fighting what it calls the ocean pollution crisis. We know that in the ocean there are about five to 15 million trillions pieces of plastic floating in the ocean. And in the bottom of the ocean per se, we have like two million pieces per square meter. It's really, really destructive to see how Birds, dolphins, whales, turtles, fish die when they eat plastics. They eat plastics because they mistake it for their food. If you are a turtle and you see a transparent plastic bag, it looks like a jellyfish. He says upcycling ocean plastic into usable products is a good emergency solution, but adds we need to reduce what he calls our addiction to plastic to stop the pollution, which he says is escalating. If we continue like we do now, we will have three times as much plastic production on the planet in 40 years which means almost half a ton per Canadian a year. I think this is an effort and this is a novel, you know, kind of activity that Ocean Legacy can put in place. We know that, yeah, it's not enough, but at least this is an exemplary, you know, activity that other companies, other NGO, other groups can also learn from. Middleton says he knows their products aren't a perfect solution, but adds they're doing the best with what they got because there's too much waste out there. This is a very tangible thing to do to create an economy of effort to go and do something very real to be able to draw it out of the environment and get it off of our coastlines and get it out of the ocean. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.